here we go, it's last week at the auction. America's favorite top 10 list of auction results from around the globe. And I am your host, Josh Levine, back again with the latest and greatest from the auction world. Are you digging 2022 so far? It's a weird year, but I kind of like it. It's last week at the auction. We stretch all stuff. My head, it spins. When you stretch all stuff, that's how it begins. When you stretch all stuff. Coming in at number 10 is a pair of carbone Memento Mori skull pendants that just brought $40 at Greenwich Auction. Each was approximately one inches tall, and you're asking yourself, why did I feature these? Because I can, and they're a little weird, that's why. Next up, number nine is a vintage Seaberg jukebox that just brought $150 at Kaminsky Auction. It was a Type ESIL6, if that means something to you. But what I saw was a great deal. Then I saw why it was a great deal. It was a project. Always read the auctioneer's description. Great auction houses like this point out things that need restoration. So, if you're super handy, this was still a steal. But if you're like me, you got a beautiful garage ornament. Number eight is a production animation cell from the new Adventures of Batman. It just hammered for $300 at Duma Shell. Circa 1970 and eight by 11, these were the real deal versus the typical made in limited edition copies. They had some issues, but collectors want these. Always look if they're actual production cells when you are hunting. Just keep that in mind and also keep the character in mind. That really matters too. Number seven. A cast iron horse form hitching post sold for $600 at Leland Little. Mid 20th century and about four feet tall. I always look for cast iron yard art or garden architectural. You know, this that's 600 bucks sitting in your yard. Don't forget about these goodies when you're selling a property either. One day, I tell you, one day I'll tell you about a $17,000 dog statue that was just lying in somebody's yard. Number six is a hand-painted cast resin taxidermy sculpture by Dr. Seuss that brought $4,250 at Dumochelle, circa 2002 and from a limited edition run of 850, meaning there's 879 more of these out there, all things Dr. Seuss have been trending up. This, this guy was called the Andalusian Grackler. I wonder if he once lived in a box with a fox named Rocks that smelled like socks. I had to do that. Number five, a pre-war Lionel locomotive and tender just brought $4,700 at Lloyd Ralston Gallery. The 700 EWX Hudson was in great shape and from 1937 and included its original boxes. That would make me dig through Grandpa's attic. But here's one that's fun for the whole family. Number four is a Seaberg Shoot the Axis Rats rifle arcade game that brought $23,500 at Milestone Auctions. You got 20 shots for a nickel and could take aim at Hitler and his friends. A great cross collectible. It's a coin op, World War II, Americana. It, all these collectors would be fighting over a vintage piece like this. Number three is a Jacob Rupert Bach flat top can that just brought $28,000 at Maureen. Circa 1930, this season is all about beer cans if you haven't noticed. I hope you're paying attention and looking out for these old things. <laughs> They're really becoming like a currency onto themselves. Crypto can, crypto can, hashtag crypto can. I think I'm on to something. Number two, the Mills Illustrated Song Machine that just hammered for $42,500 at Donnelly Auction. This was circa 1970, and this is the only known example of the Illustrated Song Machine cylinder model to exist. This was a music box and a stereo card viewer, so quite the auditory and visual experience for the turn of the century. Think of like 1900s YouTube. But what's tops this week? Number one was a 14-inch rhinoceros that just brought $310,000 at Freeman's. Attributed to Francois Xavier Lalaine, it was signed FXL and dated 1985 and it was number two of four. So again, there's three more of these out there. Upon researching a bit more, I learned Sotheby's actually auctioned his personal belongings in 2019 for $101.5 million. Now that's quite a name to remember, and that's what I call an estate sale. And hey, for those of you in the estate and auction business, don't forget to check out try.shippingsaint.com. I wish I would have known about these guys years ago. Everybody loves their amazing platform. Shipping Saint makes it easy for you, your business, and your customer. Visit tryshippingsaint.com. I got the link below, or tell them Josh sent you. Until we stream again, my friends.
That was really cheesy, but I liked it.